want to know about the scope of PG diploma in aquaculture in NMIT New Zealand and the chances of getting working visa and PR. Not often do I hear somebody asking about aquaculture, which I think is a very good subject to learn, uh, especially in a country like New Zealand, because we are an island nation. You know, we have sea all around us. And uh, so we are two islands uh, which are stuck in the Pacific Ocean. So obviously we are pretty big on aquaculture. And I think we also do very ethical and very sustainable aquaculture. I watch a program on uh, TV every week very diligently. It's called uh, Country Calendar, which talks about all the different kinds of farming techniques that are being used in New Zealand. And uh, 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 aquaculture is also uh, growing quite well in New Zealand. Our, our fisheries industry is, is, is pretty big. Uh, we have the very famous bluff oysters in the south of the country, which is, you know, these are just some of the standout uh, 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 things when we talk about aquaculture in New Zealand. So I think, first of all, Sajita, your choice to choose New Zealand as your place to study aquaculture is very good. And I think our uh, uh, techniques and technology in this particular field are also up there. So what you learn will be very practical stuff, which I think will also lead to uh, a good settlement opportunity for you because fisheries and aquaculture is also one of our large export nations. As a country that is very far away, from the rest of the world. We need to rely on uh, exporting our produce to other countries and importing the stuff that we need here in New Zealand. So overall, I think your field is good and fisheries along with wine, uh, you know, wine is also growing in our stature as an export country, uh, export uh, industry for this country. So I think overall your choice is very good and chances of getting working visa and PR, I think if you're going to do a postgraduate diploma in aquaculture, uh, yes, you will definitely be eligible for a post-study work visa. In that post-study work visa period, if you are able to find yourself a job uh, uh, relevant to the course you've completed, yeah, that was definitely more than likely going to lead to a PR. And, you know, obviously PR being permanent residency, it's not a straightforward step, of course. You first need to get residency and then you get permanent residency. But uh, you also need to get a certain uh, level of salary, a certain level of position, so on and so forth. So if you're coming to New Zealand and working, you know, coming to New Zealand through AJB and uh, you're working with us as one of our students, we'll be able to guide you at each and every uh, step.